What's up guys, Raul and Diego here with another practice round video here in beautiful La Mirada. Uh, we will be doing the front side 18 for the Summer Classic 2023 and we'll show you how everything plays out. It's a bit crowded out here, but we're doing our best to try to show you guys how to get a good round out here. What? All right, guys, we're starting out here on a 265 foot par three. We're throwing over OB right here uh short of this gutter and then there's ob way long but you really want to just throw a big hyzer around these front trees or throw the disc straight at it i'm going to try to throw nv straight at it we got a little wind out here today blowing pretty much straight headwind actually it's kind of right to left now yeah so you got to go extra wide right yeah All right, I'll be throwing harp on a wide hyzer. Oh, shoot. That is not wide. There you go. Get in there. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uphill putt. All right, so here I went extra wide and I played the wind. Oh, it's nice my first run savior. Sheesh. All right, hole two now. We are looking at position C, 395 feet. And for this summer classic, they did add two mando trees. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So we got a right to left wind. <clears throat> and we want just something that would just push straight, be kind of pushing the right mandy tree and something that can just fade towards the basket. Yep. All right, I'm going with my straightest felon, Lucid X over stable, over stable felon. Keep traveling. Skip. That's a putt. Right, about 30 short, but. All right, we're gonna go FD3 European Open. Got another discount, there, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, we got a long putt. Do it. Oh. <laughs> Woo, nice putt. All right, hold three. We have a new tournament position. It is behind the road that the basket is normally short of. So you can either lay up to inbounds short or throw it deep to the island, risking going OB on the road. I'm gonna throw a big sidearm because we have a tailwind and try to land it on the island. Probably short because of how wide I took it. All right, so Raul threw his sidearm there. Another play you could do is like a backhand turnover. I'll be going backhand with a Maverick and just putting some ante on it and let it just do its thing and hopefully land on the island. There's cars passing by right now. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Maybe on it to the right? Yeah, I made it, but just off. All right, so mine was a little too wide and just kind of dro got dropped down by the tailwind, so just ended up in it. the OB, so I have a long putt for par. Oh, it's so low. Hole four now, guys. We are looking at our first par four of the front side. Uh, instead of Teeing off on the tee pad will be teeing off right here at the entrance of the parking lot. And uh, what you want to do is just push something straight, get through the mandy trees, and give yourself a look on the second shot. Yeah, that's out there. All right, we got a bit of a head right to left wind, so. I'm gonna take my overstable destroyer just try to get left. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll yeah. give you a look. All right, so I probably threw it like 330, 340 off the tee. Now I have an uphill low ceiling shot. So I have like 300, a little under 300 in. So I'm going to just go over stable FD3 and try to skip it in there. Perfect. Yeah, that's nice. a pot. All right, so here I did try to push my trespass and try to cover as much distance. So I got like about just a little under 200 feet of distance to the basket. So I'll be going savior. And here, like you'll normally get a bunch of right to left headwind. So I'll be going extra wide and have the wind do what it can do. <clears throat> that looks good. Yeah, nice shot. All right, we got a putt at it. That's how you birdie hole four, guys. Ooh, went a little deep. All right, hole five, we're going to normal hole five's basket. It's straight up the hill and then in the palm trees in there. Uh, I think it's probably like 330, but maybe plays a little bit longer than that with the uphill and then you want to get a skip left at the basket, so. Just throw a little hyzer through this gap and try to get it to push up there. Uh. Yeah, a little short. So here I go over stable. I'll be going with Gavin Rathbun and Forster. I don't like it. What? All right, we got a putt. We'll head right to left wind. Come on. Oh. Bit of a headwind. Let's get it. Oh my goodness. Nice putt. Hole six now, we are looking at 260 par three. Uh, same position as always, same thing as last year as well, just with the higher basket. So you could go Firebird, you could go anything over stable or over stable mid range, whatever you feel comfortable. <clears throat> oh my goodness, that's so bad, bro. I think that's perfect. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm thinking envy on this hole, but there's a slight head right to left. So I don't want it to push straight, but I think if I keep it on hyzer the whole time, it'll be good. <laughs> yep, just as I thought, too straight. All right, yep, envy went too straight. I'm gonna try rock X3. <laughs> That's better. All right, we got very much so a death putt. Raised basket, OB right behind with right to left wind, so gotta catch some metal here. There Woo. it is. Ooh. Yeah, OB, if you airball it, it's for sure OB. <laughs> I should name myself. Oh. All right, we got a 406 foot par three. Uh, Mando left of this tree, so you can't go through the middle anymore. Um, you can throw a sidearm just to play it safe or a big panning turnover, which is the best way to actually get to the hole. And uh, yeah, you wanna throw something flippy, super high in the air and just drift it all the way over to the right in between all those palm trees. All right, the wind's a little bit swirly here. It just felt tailwind, but now it feels headwind, but I'm gonna take my S-Line DD3, put it up there and try to get it out there. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, uh, hit. Let me go again. Oh, it's looking really good. Come on. Yeah, it's out there. A little too much angle, but not bad. 
Oh, that is <laughs> so wide. <laughs> <laughs> I said put it high and wide. <laughs> I gave myself about a 70 footer here. So this is actually a good turnout. I just went extra wide. So that is my disc of choice for this weekend's tournament. Oh, that is so freaking wide. I didn't like that. All right, we overcooked it a little bit, but I have a long jump putt. Gave it a bid. You know, guys, we are looking at 347 feet and it is at the sketchiest pin position because it's really at the edge of the hill at the left side. So what you want to do is push something straight and that, that can hyzer pretty hard at the end. Oh, that seems really good. Looking good. Maybe a little short and right, but yeah. All right, we got the death putt of death putts, but we're gonna try to bang it. Oh, yep. <laughs> She's Whoa. gone, she's literally rolling down the hill. All right, so this is what you don't want. I actually ended up going downhill, rolling, but I'm trying to make this bird. So short. Yep. All right, hole nine, we got 310 feet, straight down the hill, plays a lot less than that. You could either throw backhand straight at it or forehand uh, over the gutter. Uh, before the gutter, once you're down there a little bit, is OB, so you have to get over it or just throw over inbounds the whole time with the backhand. I can go zone forehand. Get down. Yep. Nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. All right. We got a putt. Nice. It's good when you can putt with whatever you just threw Diego off the parked it. Yeah. Hole 10 now, guys. We are looking at about 350. Um, Mando, this big tree off to the left. It is going to be a big, massive turnover or a really good sidearm. And um, there is OB play here on the uh, hill. So it's just right below where those wood chips are at, where the patch of dirt. And we want to just throw something real tight and fade it off to the right. Oh, that is so tight. I don't like it. All right, we're going to go cloud breaker sidearm. Just try to flip it up. <laughs> Skip. So this is what you don't want. I hit early, but barely made it inbound. So I'll be going side on with my harp, just play the hill and just try to get under the basket. <clears throat> Sit. Ooh, oh, big skip. That's... All right, the OB line's not up yet, but it should be somewhere around here. This would be way too tight anyway, so you definitely want to be down there more. But. Oh, oof. All right, we got 270 feet uphill with this tree right in front. So if you're throwing a backhand, you want to throw something out to the left that turns or a big sidearm, it probably honestly plays closer to like 350, 360-ish. Um, so we got a little bit of headwind, so I'm going to try to throw the turnover with the leopard. Turn, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, yeah that should so be really perfect. good. Another play here you can do is uh, sidearm. So I'll be going with my ride over stable, hang it out a little wide and have it try to get under the basket. <clears throat> oh, that is so wide. That's a putt though. Yeah. Do it. Oh, all right. We threw a pretty good leopard shot. Make the pot. Parked. 
Hole 12 now guys, we are looking at 445 par three. It is a bit of a tricky hole because it is it goes straight downhill. So what you wanna do here is throw something over stable or that can flex around the trees that are at the hill and have it just fade back. And if you can do that, it should be a good look for birdie. Yeah. I'm going fell in here. It's probably my straightest one, but I know it can fight back at the end. Oh, push. It's a putt, a little short. A little short, but I think I still got a good roll maybe. All right, we're going my straight FD3. Gonna try to just throw it flat, maybe with a little bit of turn and let the wind ride it and then fade it out. That's looking really good. Yeah, that should be an uphill putt. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, we threw a really good shot. Must've got a nice little skip. Got a good putt at it. Hey, pick me up. <laughs> All right, hole 13, probably the most demanding tee shot on the course. We got 340 feet downhill, low ceiling, double mandel, double Mandy tunnel shot, pretty much hit the, the double Mandy and you're good if you have a putt, that's a bonus. We're gonna throw Rock X3 and just try to throw it nose down, flat. That's gonna be OB. Let me get it. All right, so another play you can do here is a sidearm. So I'll just be flexing through the Mandy trees, left and then right. <laughs> Bit of a headwind, so it could help out my flex. <clears throat> oh. oh, over the street, back in. Oh, big skip. Nice. <laughs> that was a little scary. But. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, so this is where my sidearm landed, about pin high, just close to circle. This would be a really good birdie. Nice putt. All right, so we're on hole 14. We're playing to a new position for the tournament. It's back behind the corner of the gym. So the corner we can see, it goes a little bit further back and a little bit more left, and it's right behind the furthest corner of the gym. So it plays about 370 feet or so um, uphill. So you really wanna just push something straight through these trees and then try to get a skip up there. We're gonna play to the position. There is a sleeve in the ground, just not a basket. So we'll show you where our throws go and then where we land. That's a putt, but a little short. Arrive, uh, just try to shoot under the pine tree. Yeah, so that's a putt, maybe a little bit short, but those are both in the, maybe at least circle too. All right, so Diego's disc landed right there on the right. Just right and then here. mine landed just in bounds. Oh, this here, um, pavement is out of bounds, so I'm just in bounds. And where Diego's standing is the basket. So Yo. pretty much you get past this, these trees right here and skip a little bit up the hill, you have a pretty good putt at it. Hole 15 now, we are looking at 375 feet. Uh, it is going downhill, so with this headwind, it's probably true to how it feels with the distance, maybe even more. So you wanna go something over stable, that way you wouldn't pull it over to the right. So I'll be going here enforcer and hopefully fading towards the basket. Oh, I like that a lot if it gets past the trees. Come on, maybe short. Oh, you're there. Oh. Inside circle, just uh, on the left side. I like it. All right, we're gonna go stable nuke. Just rip it out there a little wide on a little bit of hyzer. Try to keep it low enough that it cuts through the wind. Really? 
All right, that one went too straight, so I'm gonna try my more overstable nuke. Same thing, wide and hyzer. A little tighter. Ah. Uh. All right, let me get another one. I'm pulling this too right. I'm gonna try to take it tighter. Nice pop. All right, hole 16, we got 375 feet, OB gutter and beyond into the tailwind. We're gonna throw S-line DD3 pretty much straight at it. and Try to get a birdie here. Looking nice. And that's how you do it. Sheesh. Tristan Tanner ride. Oh, so low, but give me a fat skip though. Might work. Oh yeah, that's a pot. Oh yeah, that's close. Woo. Good skip and roll. Woo. And my part. Hole 17 now, we got an interesting temple. So right here, it's uh, 300 feet. There is uh, Mando on the right side. You gotta be on the left side of the uh, pole. There's Hazard, left side of the gutter. So it's kind of like an island hole. And I'll be throwing my first agent here. Oh, that is so bad. Dang. All right, so like Diego said, we have it pretty much just dead straight shot because there's Hazard on the left and Amanda right. We do have a right to left win, so I'm gonna throw a straight putter hard and flat. Oh, four, heads up, heads up. Missed the Mando. All right, so I was kind of thinking the right to left win would hyzer that out a bit more, so I'm gonna try to throw it on a little bit more hyzer and just push it straight. Perfect. That's better. That's parked. All right, we do have a, another play here. I'll be going sidearm here. I'll just be going over the hazard and hopefully get it right under the basket. Set. Yeah, not a bad play. So short, but yeah, it's short. Short. there though. All right, so here I'm about like 90 short. I just threw this one too low, but I can give it a run. Oh my goodness, that was so bad, dude. What the heck? Don't do that. Come on. Nope. It's bad. All right, first shot, I missed the Mando. There should be a drop zone by the mandatory, but second shot, pretty much just parked it. All right, hole 18, we got 310 feet. It's normal hole 18 for the front side. Um, it's up there. The basket is pretty much in line with the corner of the fence up there. You wanna just throw something straight. You could either throw a forehand flex or backhand straight at it. I'm gonna throw my mind bender on a little hyzer flip line. Heads up! I think that's good. Maybe a little short. That looks really good. I should be parked. Nice shot. Thanks. Absolutely parked. This would be a great way. Uh, mind bender under the basket, as you can see. I'll pick this up for The you. park is packed for Memorial Day. So good round. Woo. All right, there you guys have it. Lakeside, that was a full 18. Uh, pretty challenging and also very fun. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy and it helps out. And good luck to everyone for uh, this coming up weekend for the 2023 Summer Classic.